Hello, fine people, and welcome to the show. Um, glad you was able to join me today. We're gonna take a look at the Toby Eye Tracker Five, um, which I picked up for three twelve. Um, I do have the Track IR, and I've been using the Track RR for quite a while. So I want to take a look at the, the Toby Eye Tracker since Star Citizen has implemented it in the game, and we're gonna go through some settings and uh, take a look and see if I like it a little bit better than the Track IR. And I could tell you um, pretty much right out the bat so far I do like it uh, a little better. You got a little more range of motion than you do with Track R um, when it comes to the way the game has, has, has it set up. Um, it seems like it's more tailored for the eye and the head tracking. Um, it's more immersive. Uh, uh, it is kind of, you got to fiddle with the settings a little bit to get it exactly the way you want it as far as dead zones and sensitivity but uh so far I like it pretty good and we'll take a look at it here today in case you're interested in getting the eye tracker so you can use the eye tracker 4 if you still have your eye tracker 4 you can use that as well so we'll jump into settings and I'll let you know exactly what you need alright so when you first get into settings you want to go to uh, head tracking comms FOIP and you're going to make sure that you have it first of all as your source your head tracking general source so you got track R um, any kind of webcam you want to use for your FOIP your face wear and then you have Toby so you want to make sure it's on Toby um, if you have the head the uh, Toby 4 or the 5 and what I normally do, um, when I had Track R, I would have this head track in general toggle enable. Um, you don't necessarily need that on. Um, you can if you want to. There is a toggle setting, which is the slash key on my number pad. But uh, I'll get to that and show you that here soon. So you want to scroll all the way down until you get to the Toby section. This is the Toby section all the way at the end. And the very mo the most important thing that that you would need to have enabled is this one, the extended view. Um, it will not work unless you have this set to yes. Um, when I first plugged it in, which is pretty fast to, to get it to set up, so you, it's just pretty much plug and play. So I plugged into my computer, it downloaded the drivers, then I had to go through this calibration uh, software with Co with Toby once it uh once it updates and all that good stuff so you calibrate with your eyes and your head movement and your screen so I'm using a 27 inch uh, monitor and it works very well it will work well I assume with larger mo monitors probably if not better um, because you have more room to play with um, being that I got a 27 inch um, it, it, it works perfectly so it'll set up in the center of your screen your eye tracker will set up in the center bottom uh, unlike the track IR which sits at the top so the Toby eye tracker sits at the bottom of your screen and it has a uh, slider that you can pull it you know you can angle it up or down so to face you so you'll go through all that in the software and the calibration uh, portion but make sure that you have Toby extended view enabled or it will not work in game so the settings wise um, one setting I did change by default this is off by the way so you have to make sure you put that to yes um, but my settings I dropped the sensitivity yaw and pitch down a little bit I think by default it's like at 1.80 or a little higher <clears throat> which is a little too fast for me so I set it down and the center stabilization is very important um, the center stabilization when and I'll show you uh, here in a sec so when you're looking around basically what it does is like pull you to it'll lock the center when you're looking to shoot at a target or whatever the case may be so you won't be your your head and eye movements won't be all over the place it'll it'll uh, like it's almost like a magnet you know it'll magnetize your your view and your your head to the center so that way you don't you, you turn this the higher you go with this the more 
uh, sh you know, it, the strength of it is very, very high, and, and then vice versa, going the opposite direction. So I have mine around 0 0.40. So I found I found that this is a good little sweet spot around 5.0. It, that's a little bit too much. Um, it's it's a little harder to turn your head, you know, not really, but it's slow. So I keep this around 4.40. Point four zero. That seems to be the sweet spot, and then I drop my sensitivities down a bit, and I may fiddle with it a little more to get it exactly the way I want. So you do want auto center enabled. That way, when you look at the screen or at your target, you know it automatically. This will automatically kick in, and it helps a ton. So you won't be all over the place trying to find you. You know, trying to shoot your target. Your eyes and your head is. You know, it won't be so disorienting. Input scale I left at default. And the dead zones, I dropped them by default. I think they're, I want to say they're around, uh, they're way up here, I think. Around 30, yep, <clears throat> by default. Somewhere up in here. But I dropped all the dead zones. And I did that with Tracker R as well. Dropped the dead zones so I don't have that floaty, wonky, you know, movement in the dead zone now if it gets too sensitive you can raise it up a bit you know just to you know for your own preference you can raise your dead zones up if you want a little a little delay in when you turn your head or your eyes <clears throat> you know so all right let's get to it we'll take a look at it in, in game so you guys can see all right let's get to my let me turn around here and get to my ship and this is the Talon Shrike. Um, I do like the Talons. And I'll make a video on the Talons and what I think of them so far. Uh, I've been flying around for quite a bit. So very fast and agile ship. Only thing they need to fix now is this canopy bug. The canopy keeps opening and closing when uh, you're flying around. So that's the, the biggest thing. And once they fix that, yeah, it's pretty cool. And the, miss the Shrike, the missile... Uh, <clears throat> version works pretty well being that they changed how uh, countermeasures work so you have decoy you have decoy and noise fields which are you know pretty much chaff and flare but they work a little differently so missiles a little bit a little bit more effective it seems all right so this is my default default view here and I almost forgot let me go ahead and show you real quick the key binding <clears throat> so you go into key bindings and you want to go into targeting let's see if I have it in targeting no nope. you want to go down okay head tracking and I think I supposed to have uh, a head tracking uh, disable enable which would be my Toby eye. I gotta find out where it's at again. Let's see here. So they did change these up a little bit to make it more slim. I do like this. They changed these uh, settings here as well to make it more streamlined. So you can see your curves and everything like that. So you guys that play with mouse and keyboard or any other, you know, gamepad on your joysticks they made this way more streamlined which I like I like this a lot so you got these settings here have changed it's not jumbled up with a whole lot of other stuff <clears throat> alright let's see if we can find it maybe on keyboard and mouse let's take a look yes it is <clears throat> so enable head tracking I have number pad slash so when I hit this, I can cut my eye and head tracking on and off, which is very good. So, or you can set it to a hold, but I like to toggle. So I can toggle it on and off. So this is where you will find that. So in your, your key binders, on your keyboard and mouse, you can set your, whatever button you want to use to cut your eye tracker on and off. All right. So I'm going to cut mine on now. You can tell right off the bat that it is. Okay. So with track IR you only had this range of motion turning your head right left up and down but with the eye tracker you can lean in you can lean back 
you can kind of like uh, lean to the side lean to the sides over here you got way more range of movement um, my mic is kind of in the way of the camera there we go so you got way more range of movement and this is my head movement right now okay up down right left look down I mean it is very very good and, I, and it's very sensitive so that's why in the settings I turned those uh, settings down the, the, the rate turn the pitch rate and the yaw rate or pitch rate and the, yes the yaw rate down a little bit that way um, it won't be overly sensitive and then it'll recenter once I look at the center of the screen so now I'm using my eyes so this is my eyes right looking left looking up to the left up to the right I'm not using my head this is just my eyes only so I'm looking all around with my eyes so you can see it's very good and you you combine that with your head movement and yes it is very and you can lean over you can lean in to see closer or further back if you want more field of view and it can it takes some getting used to but you want to get this this center locked that way it won't be all over the place when you're flying around and I can look over here and I can use my I can use my eyes. I'm looking. I'm my head is turned left. My eyes are right. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's very very immersive. And I can look down. I can look up. And the settings that I have them right now, I think I like the best because it's not overbearing and I'm not disoriented. So when I'm spinning around and flying, it's you know it's not so disoriented that I can't even you know function. So. It, it works perfectly. I actually like this like this better than uh, Track R. A uh, Track R is good too, but with the eye tracker, I don't I don't have to move my head at all if I don't want to. I can turn it up to where like now I'm just using my eyes to turn right to look right. I use my eyes to look left. You know I don't have to turn my head if I don't want. I can keep my head straight. But it does help when I look up with my head and my eyes, I can look. My head and my eyes, I can look down at my uh, MFDs. Or I can just use my eyes to look at my MFDs. If I want to see a target a little closer, I just lean in. I can see my screen a little, cr uh, my, not my target, but my screen. My MFDs closer. And I can look down with my eyes. And I can see my screen. I can I can see exactly what's going on here a little closer I'm not so far back that is, and zooming in with my mouse wheel I can do that if I want to or just lean in like that or I can lean back you know when I'm done so it, it, it just way more range of motion with the eye tracker and I think CIG did a, a great job with uh, how this works you know, I like it a little better than Track R. It's a little more, it's more smooth. It's almost like the game is, is made, you know, for the eye tracker. All right, so there's a good little look look of it. If you're interested, you can. I'll put the, the link in the description for the software. And, and uh, I got mine from Amazon. So it was a pretty, they are pretty pricey. Um, I think it was 220 for mine so um, they are pretty pricey but I think it's worth it you know especially if you're flying large ships when you ain't got much movement in your ship um, these little small fighters are good too so you can keep track of your target so yeah if you if you're interested in it I, I suggest picking it up um, I think I'm gonna like it um, quite a bit it does take even with the tracker R it takes uh, some getting used to because you will get well, if you never used it before you will get a little disoriented because it's you know it, it takes a muscle memory to to get that wonkiness out of your feeling you know out your system so you can learn how to play with it. and it don't take long maybe a week of playing maybe some for some maybe a couple of days of playing with it it don't take it don't take too long all right so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I have some gameplay while I'm using it here 
uh, some maybe some bounty missions or something like that on the next video. Alright guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.